What's up guys, DJ Lowstacks here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to, I don't know if this is a gear review, a gear build. I haven't built anything in a while, so that's what we're doing today. We're building some stuff. So the last couple weeks, I've had a friend of mine working on this right here. This is going to be a mobile DJ booth um, with TV in the front, kind of like the Toadmatic, just kind of my, uh, my rendition of it, I guess. Let me walk you through what we've got so far and uh, go from there. All right, so here's the frame. It's all made out of two by two aluminum tubing. Got four locking casters on the bottom. The front here is gonna have a 55 inch TV in it. And then on the back side, there's gonna be a shelf on the top. Right here is going to be a rack mount for wireless mic and possibly a drawer. I'm not sure exactly what all I'm gonna put in there. Definitely wireless mic to start. And then down here is gonna be another shelf where I can slide in um, my speakers. I'm gonna get started right now on the finishing. I'm gonna be covering it all in PVC trim. So I've got all of that right here, uh, PVC trim, and then the shelves are going to be out of this paneling here. This is just particle board with a melamine, white melamine top. And the side pieces are gonna be uh, eighth inch and then the shelves are half inch and then we also have the pneumatic mount for the laptop stand as well so should be a pretty sweet build so i'll catch up to you uh i don't know next time i pick up the camera all right so let's give you guys an update here i just got done going through and knocking down all these welds Basically, just trying to make it so all my trim sits flush. I also added these pieces of angle here. These pieces are gonna help hold the TV in. I'm gonna put two more pieces here on the side and that'll be it for what's gonna hold the TV in place. Besides the piece of angle on the back, it's gonna just press up against it. But uh, should be in there nice and sturdy. Shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. So just finished up with the grinding. Now we're gonna get finished with mounting the TV and uh, then start trimming it out. All right, so here's another update. We've got the side pieces on here. Getting ready to cut the plexiglass. Got some clamps here and a straight edge. Cut the plexi to the right length. This piece here is cut to pinch the TV in place and it's also gonna act as the back edge of this top shelf. So that's a progress update for the moment. I'm getting ready to cut this plexiglass. As soon as I get the plexi cut, I'm gonna put that in place and then uh, start putting the trim on and then we should be able to mount the TV and it's actually moving along a lot quicker than I expected. So it's going good. All right guys, here's another update. I've got side panels on now. Got top shelf. And bottom shelf in. Now I'm working on getting this trim put on. So there's going to be these white squares on four corners in the front and the four corners of the side. And then I've got this light plastic PVC trim that's going to trim everything out. So get ready to start installing all these trim pieces and uh, then I'm going to head out here shortly. Uh, it's getting late and I gotta work tomorrow, so um, yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys again tomorrow with an update. Alright guys, so I lied to you. I didn't leave yet. Uh, it's now about 12.30 in the morning and uh, yeah, I should be gone by now because I need to go to work tomorrow. But I want to show you one last update before I leave. We've made a lot of progress. All right, here we go. Got the TV in, it's on, Plexi's in. Pretty much all the trim is done. I just need to do this piece here and the same piece on the other side. Um, I just wanted to make sure that this down here was completely set since there's no way to clamp it. Uh, that way it doesn't slide down and fall off overnight. Uh, and then I'm gonna cap the top off 
with some mitered edges. So I got one piece cut. I'm one board short, so I gotta pick up one more board tomorrow. But basically, that's gonna be mitered. And there'll be another one that runs across here just to put a little edge on it. I didn't want it to be too thick because I don't want people to try to put glasses and stuff on it even though they probably will, but hopefully not. Um, but yeah, just gotta cap this off here, put this piece on here, same thing on the other side, and then down here I have this opening and I'm thinking about using the leftover plexi piece that I had here and putting it down there and then maybe put like an LED light behind it or something. I don't know, there's lots of thoughts running through my mind on that, on what I could do down there. But I think that would be kind of cool to have the plexi down there with a light behind it instead of just filling it in with a white board. I don't know, we'll see what I do tomorrow, but we're leaning towards putting the plexi in there with a light behind it. And if I don't like it, I can always just paint the plexi from the back side and then you'll never know the difference. Um, this side's pretty much done. So I gotta install a power strip down there. This is going to be um, a 4U rack mount here. It's going to be a wireless mic and a drawer, I believe. Or maybe a power conditioner. I haven't decided yet. Uh, then this side, I haven't figured out how I'm going to build it out yet, but it's going to be some sort of shelf, um, I'm thinking. Or maybe I'll just add another bar, and this will be another rack. Not sure yet. But for now, I'm going home, going to bed. I'll be back tomorrow after work. Peace. All right guys, welcome back. It's now the next day. It's about 3 p.m. Today at work kind of sucked. Uh, staying up so late was a bad idea. But we're back at it. I'm gonna get this thing finished up tonight. I'll show you where we're at. Uh, we're pretty much done with the trim and everything. All that's left to do now is the top cap area uh, and then installing the laptop arm and the rack mount for the mic and drawer or whatever I decide to put in there. So, let's take a look. So what I'm working on now is mitering these corners here so that this meets up nice and flush and we'll have this nice clean capped off look. So I got these two cut. Still gotta cut the one for this side here and then we'll be good. So just to show you guys what I've been working with, um, I'm actually cutting all this trim by hand because I didn't want it to splinter and bust and break and the stuff's not cheap. It's about two bucks a foot, so uh, it's not cheap stuff. So I've just been using this miter box with a handsaw, cutting the pieces as I go. Um, I am gonna use this leftover piece of plexi here for this bottom opening. Uh, and like I said, if I end up not liking it, I'll just uh, paint it white from the inside. As far as our mic rack goes, that's gonna be right here. I've got a brand new G4 handheld to stick in there. This is the A1 band. Then I've got this chunk of, um, it's like a 4U bracket. So I'm gonna install this in here to mount the mic in and then uh, after that, all we got left to do is mount our laptop arm up here, and we'll pretty much be done. Done for this part anyway, so uh, we might do a little bit more, um, some fine touches with running wires. So I am gonna probably, I haven't decided yet if I wanna just put a power strip down in there, or if maybe in my rack mount, I put a power conditioner. Um, really not sure yet, that's still, a work in progress but right now the goal is just to get this sucker done so that I can take it to this bridal show on Sunday so uh, we're pretty much there just a few finishing touches and we'll be ready to go all right guys another update our mic is officially mounted had to do a little bit of trimming to these brackets because of the welds in the corners they didn't want to sit in there flush but uh, hacked a little bit off we made it work um, kind of messed up here, cut a little too much off the top, and now we can't put a screw in the top, but one screw is going to hold it just fine. It's not like this thing's heavy, and it's in there nice and solid. So right here, I think I'm going to do a drawer, and then on the bottom, or maybe in the middle, I'm going to do a power conditioner to plug everything into. 
All it's left to do now, right now, is I'm going to mount our computer arm, and then this thing's pretty much set for now. Uh, I do still gotta figure out a shelf in here, so I'm gonna have to do some some rigging with some angle iron, I think, to put a shelf in here, but I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. Let me tell you guys, this has been a, a fun project, a stressful project, and an expensive one. Uh, at the end of this here, I'm gonna list out all the products that I used, and uh, cost, time, and if I think it's worth it. So, spoiler alert, I do think it's worth it uh, in comparison to some of the booths you can buy. But it's definitely a lot of work and you're gonna have to put in some uh, elbow time, elbow grease time if you uh, wanna do it yourself. So, gonna finish things up here and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I'll do a little summary of this whole project. So, catch up with any of you. All right, we're done. Uh, looks sweet, I love it. So, let's check it out real quick. Um, just got done doing the laptop arm and that's it. All I need now is some, I'm gonna spray that plexiglass that I put on the bottom there. I'm gonna spray it with some of that, uh, that spray that makes glass cloudy. Um, can't think of what it's called, but we're gonna use that. So here's a laptop arm. So a computer will be right there. Mixer, turntables should be perfect, easy to access, all that good stuff. Um, storage on the bottom. Like I said, my RCFs will slide down on their side underneath there, no problem. Uh, mic, I've got to get the cables to run the antennas up. Not sure, I might actually run the antennas somewhere else. Maybe out the side here or something different. <clears throat> 55 inch TV, and then down here is the plexiglass that I was talking about that I want to make hazy. And then I'm going to put a light probably to some of that uh, sticky rope light off Amazon and uh, yeah that's it but here it is guys let me know what you think down in the comments any suggestions all right so fast forward a couple days it is now Monday evening the last clip you saw there was from Friday. So it took me two solid nights to get that sucker finished and uh, loaded up into the trailer. So all said and done, I have about $1,000 invested into that booth, uh, including all materials, TV, and all, all, all that stuff. So uh, the TV I already had, so you can't really count that in the price. But raw materials and everything else is about 1000 uh, bucks. That includes the labor that I paid my buddy. Shout out to Andrew Barrett. Uh, including the labor that I paid Andrew to weld all that together. Um, at the actual wedding expo that I took this thing to, it was a huge hit. Everyone loved it. It was, uh, went over, went over really well. Every, every prospect that came by, you know, they, they mentioned, Hey, what is that booth there? And I, you know, I explained to them, Hey, it's a video booth. I can do a lot of cool stuff with it. I can put your engagement pictures on it. I can do a monogram if I want hashtag. I can put that across the bottom of the screen. You know, a lot of possibilities with that booth and not to mention it just looks awesome. I did decide that I'm not going to put a light in the bottom there. I am going to paint that plexiglass down there white. Uh, so it's just going to look white like the rest of the booth. And I'm going to also build a trim piece to cover the casters. And I might actually just do two small trim pieces to cover the side casters and then put some white LEDs underneath it. I think it might look kind of cool with the whole all white look that I'm going with. Uh, still tossing ideas around. Uh, but leave me some comments down below um, if you'd like to know more about the booth. Uh, if you'd like me to send you the dimensions or anything like that, shoot, shoot, a, shoot me a message on Instagram, at DJ Lowstacks. And also if you're not following me on Instagram, follow my... Uh, business account as well at Lux Entertainment KZoo. There's some photos on there of the booth in action at this wedding expo. I'll insert a picture of it right here too as well for you guys to check out. It looked great. I had the salsa booth there, had this new uh, TV video booth there, had my totems and all that stuff set up as well. So super clean setup. I definitely feel like I had one of the better setups at this wedding expo out of the 10 DJs that were there. So let's hope I stir up some business from it. And uh, as always guys, if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. Please click that like button and please leave me a comment down below. You know, likes and comments really help my algorithm. So let's bump this channel up and uh, let's grow guys. I'll catch up to you in the next one. Peace.